Hello everybody, welcome to Short Shot Archery, Anthony here, and in this video, uh, we're going to be talking about how, uh, you know, the distribution of weight on your stabilizer system changes, you know, the feel of the shot and how the bow reacts. Of course, I'm going to be using my personal, you know, experience, and I'm going to be showing you, you know, by adding extra weight to the front or extra weight to the right or left side, I'm going to be showing you how it affects my shot, I'm going to explain how like the feeling of the bow and the responsiveness of the bow changes based on where I have weight. Now, of course, this is going to be my experience. Yes, it should be similar to yours, but I would highly recommend trying this uh, at home, at your own home, at a home range, at your local range, uh, you know, wherever you practice archery at. Uh, that way, you can kind of figure out what works for you, and it's a great, this is a great basis for figuring out how to set up your stabilizer setup uh, because then you can use it to realize oh a ton of weight in the back it's not my thing you know oh I need more weight in the front because I want the bow to like launch out of my hand a little bit better and swing a little bit more uh, or uh, oh I don't want too much weight out of the front because the bow now swings too violently and I can't control it and it's just it's overly flipping when uh, when I shoot uh, the arrow things like that so we're gonna use this as a pretty simple breakdown of uh, you know kind of what to expect and I'm just gonna share my uh, you know points of view on how it, it relates to me at least okay so I've got all my shooting gear on and I am gonna start with well just my basic uh, setup and what I shoot with is seven ounces on the front and that is counting uh, the biter V box dampener so seven ounces here and then on both my side rods, I'm using about four and a half ounces, and that is also counting the V-Box dampener. So, per rod, it's it's not quite a you know a doubling. You know, I'm using four and a half on one side on one of my side rods, and I'm using seven on the front. You know, half would be <laughs> you know about nine. Uh, so just to give you an idea but if you count both side rods together I'm using closer to uh, nine ounces between the two when I'm only running uh, seven ounces in the front um, for me and I'll, I'll, I'm gonna shoot uh, this set up here we'll back up a little bit so you guys can actually see uh, most of my bow for me, this provides just the perfect balance between it wanting to go forward enough, because you can see, naturally kind of wants to drop forward, but, still, but still having that weight in the back to provide uh, that balance, like kind of like outriggers on like a catamaran or something like that. You know, it's still providing that balancing weight, so I don't get a lot of left to right, uh, you know, movement. Uh, so let's see, let's see how it looks. And you don't hit your ceiling, but um, <laughs> stand in a different spot. Uh, but with that, you know, it just all flows nicely. Uh, this is something that I've worked on over the years. Uh, the stabilizer plays a good part, and how the weights for my particular setup are distributed. Let me, you know, shoot the shot. The bow goes forward, you know, pretty well, but it's also controlled. I don't think personally it's flipping too much where it's like flipping so much where it's coming back at me or anything crazy like that. At the same point in time, um, it's not too heavy. Uh, these are additional things more than just weight distribution. Um, you have to start looking into how much weight you're putting on your bow and how it affects your bow arm because if you add too much weight then you start bracing really weird. Uh, but that could be a, maybe its own video in itself if, if people are interested. So now uh, I'm gonna actually take off uh, these weights that I normally use and I'm going to put on different weights that are more controlled and we'll go about uh, shooting the bow with all the weights the same. We'll go and add extra to one side, to the front, more weight in the back, things like that. And I'll just give you, you know, my feedback on how it changes the shot and the feel of the bow. Um, we will not be doing it with dampeners that way it's kind of more more pure in a sense. Now for the first test, we are going to run four ounces on 
both sidebars and on the front bar. And uh, well, that's that's very uh, very even, uh, and it's it's gonna have an interesting feel because already the bow does not want to really you know flip as much as it did previously, so that should have uh, an interesting result on the shooting. Uh, I'll let you guys know. So hopefully, hopefully you can see the bow really didn't come out of my hand as well. It didn't come out as cleanly. Yeah, we took off the dampeners too, but that's the whole point because we're going to be shifting around these weights. We really just want to focus on the weight distribution and not so much, you know, vibration dampening. Um, but uh, yeah, when when I released, the bow was very very dead. It wasn't it wasn't dynamic. It didn't really go so much you know, with the shot, and personally that's not something that I am, you know, looking for. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't go with the whole, you know, flow, you know, the whole shot, you're, you know, you're, you're drawing back, and then the whole shot just kind of flows, boom, you send it down range. Uh, this kind of breaks that whole thing, and to me it feels awkward, one, because it's not my usual setup, but two, just it just it doesn't make the shot feel as alive for some reason. So uh, with that, we're probably going to go and now add. Well, adding weight to the front probably is just basically gonna you know recreate what I had before with my usual weight setup. So I think we'll skip that and we'll move to adding weight to uh, the right hand side here and see how that affects uh, your shot or my shot. <laughs> Okay, so now we have added uh, two more ounces to the right hand side of the bow here. We still have four ounces in the front, and we have four ounces on the left hand side. Um, I can already tell this is, this is kind of awkward because you already have your plunger off this side, you already have your sight off this side. Um, you know, when you're, you're going to you know, shoot your bow, you're already like coming from that side like when a lot of people collapse in their shot they seem to go you know the way they're they're drawing from so we're adding weight in my mind in a section you know of the stabilizer setup that's probably the least useful to have an odd amount of weight sitting in uh, just because I feel like it would incline you more to just have issues with you know collapsing but, you know what, we'll shoot this one, we'll see how it feels, and uh, I'll let you know. Again, just like I said in the beginning of this video, I would definitely recommend just trying these things out at uh, your local range and stuff, just to see how your shot changes. And uh, you should mess around with your weights to see, you know, how more or less weight affects uh, your shot, trying to find like a, a really happy spot. Of, of where your stabilizer weight set up and the weight distribution works the best for you. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Even the bow sounded weird on that one. Um, really didn't flop, you know, didn't go forward nicely. Uh, it really kicked out to the, to the side. I really felt like the bow was, was kind of just throwing itself that way, which is weird because then again, it's, it's not in that, that flow and just, you know, shooting towards the target. Um, it was very unnatural uh, for the whole shot process to have extra weight here. So now I went ahead and I took the two ounces off the right side here and I moved it to the left side. So we're going to have two more ounces, so six ounces on the left hand side. Uh, this is kind of the better side. It, to have an odd amount of weight on, uh, you know, obviously the front is probably where you're going to want to have more weight than, you know, a single rod on the back. But at least having the weight on the left side, you know, yeah, you be you could be causing yourself to kind of lean back more. But at least you wouldn't be collapsing in your shot. Shot, I guess you could be collapsing backwards in your shot. Um, but at least it 
does allow you to offset the weight of your stabilizer and anything else that's on this side of your bow. Even though this is recurved, so it's not like our stuff weighs that much. Um, we'll give this a go. It's going to have a similar result, I think, to uh, you know having the extra weight on the right-hand side. These are just two areas that it's, it's really odd to have extra weight. Uh, the only time that I've noticed archers do it that it kind of seems worthwhile uh, is some archers will have like a cant in their bow and they use the extra weight to try to straighten that out. Usually that's more related to like form and you know hand placement on you know your your grip and things like that and you probably try shouldn't try to fix it with extra weight on your stabilizer because uh, it, it's not usually helping the canting issue it's usually just like adding to it or just kind of bandaging it but uh, yeah we'll give this a try having uh, more weight on the left hand side uh, but it should it should pull left when I shoot uh, maybe not as much because you know I'm only gonna be able to go back so far it's easier to collapse in than it is to collapse you know, backwards. All right, so that was definitely better than uh, the other one. Um, it was definitely better than having the six ounces on the right hand side. Uh, the bow did go a little bit to the left when I shot it, but it wasn't as bad as when I had all the weight on the right and it went way more right. So, eh, not, not too bad to have a little extra weight there. I personally wouldn't do it because it's just, just not necessary. Um, the best spot, honestly, is if you're going to have extra weight, you want extra weight on the front of your bow. You know, it, it should be a little bit more, generally speaking, than the weight you have on a single rod on the back. The two rods together should probably outweigh the front, especially since it's going to be out there further than, you know, these two rods. Just, you know, kind of, you know, we're trying to distribute this not quite evenly, but a little bit front heavy. Um, this seems to work well, or seems to be what a lot of other uh, Olympic recurve shooters do, and even compound to a degree. So uh, I think that pretty much wraps up, you know, this whole weight distribution, you know, testing and kind of you know what to look for you know definitely try to do this on your own like I keep saying uh, your results are probably going to point to you wanting to add a little bit more to the front and you know have some weight in the back but not too much uh, the amount of weight you should have is definitely up to you and I could do a video separately just on that and not really the perfect amount of weight but just what have you know what what are the results of having too much or too little weight? Uh, I might do one of those videos in the future. But uh, yeah, this is the weight distribution. Anybody else has any uh, questions, uh, let me know. And I'll either make a second video or just try to answer you know, your questions in the comments section. But uh, <laughs> you only have three stabilizers, so there's, there's only so many options uh, that you can do. Uh, bar length does play a, a part in it, but that again is its own its own thing in itself too you know the more variables you add the more crazy this whole you know experiment could get and we're just trying to limit it so thank you so much for watching uh, if you enjoyed you know please consider a liking subscribing sharing the video uh, really helps the channel out and the YouTube algorithm um, other than that thank you again I appreciate you and as always happy shooting